Hafadi, everybody, thanks so much for tuning into the show. You may not know this, but the Guam Micronesia Island Fair is now just 28 days away. And who better to inform us as to what's exactly going on than Josh Tatinko and Eric Obergall. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. Thank you so much for having us, Jason. All right, so less than a month out. Josh, how much work remains until we can actually begin the fair and say, like, now we're all going to celebrate our cultures together as one big Pacific family, it's, it's a tremendous responsibility. Exactly, you know, we've, we've been preparing for this event for the past several months. Um, it's gonna be happening May 15th to the 17th down at uh, Governor Joseph Flores Memorial Park, otherwise known as Ipau Beach. Um, so we're just inviting the community to come down and celebrate 28 years of the Guam Micronesia Island Fair. And so this is, this is a big deal because uh, this year's theme is bridging past, present, and future, the journey to FESPAC. And as you know, Jason, that means the Festival of Pacific Arts is coming to Guam next year. That's going to be a huge event for us. This is the biggest cultural event in Guam's history. And so this year's GMIF is celebrating that uh, launch spread or that springboard to FESPAC. So uh, our opening ceremony is going to be huge. Our team is working together to get that done, as well as the uh, rest of the activities that will be happening. Um, you know, Miracle and I are, are here. We want to talk about uh, some of the different activities that are going on. Uh, Miracle is going to be talking about some of the live art demonstrations that will be happening. And then we, ha we also have like the petting zoo and uh, for the adults we have the beer garden that's going to be available. We have a lot of uh, exhibits and booths and, and, and master carvers and weavers and there's going to be a whole new emphasis on culture and art. And so mm. we're just we're thrilled to, to be uh, talking about this with well, you. Well, well let's talk about with Miracle some of that art that's going on because mm -hmm. that is one of the high points of every year's fair because you know it's all the island nations and territories and what have you all come here and they all you know basically like get together and it's never competitive but everybody at the same time they want to say like okay well I see like the Guam mm -hmm. uh, the Guam exhibits you know are doing a little bit more food so the next day they come back and they're like hey I want to like do some food now because everybody just wants to show off the very best of who they are so well this year we're gonna be doing a live art aspect um, or actually gonna be featuring myself Lucas Stortz, uh, Baltasar Bell, Jillian Hardy, um, who else? I'm uh, Christine Baghdad and Mr. I was forgetting his name, Domingo. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Domingo. <laughs> and then of course, if other artists want to come on and jump along, they can call Leanne from Rims at six three five one one two six if they want to go in and, and showcase their artwork. Um, we're we're all different artists. We have different styles. We're going, we're bridging from um, contemporary to realism to symbolism, and we all have different kind of uh, platforms as well. Some of us go with, with the wood, canvas, and others go with, uh, I believe, even body art. I think we might be trying to do that this year, wow. too, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how would you maybe classify uh, traditional, not necessarily Chamorro, but, you know, mm -hmm. modern Guamanian art? I think that's difficult, uh, modern mm -hmm. Guamanian art. I think we would say contemporary island, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think art, it's, it's hard to define, especially now, because it's, it's, it's evolved. Um, but it's, um, I guess, the easiest way to call it would be contemporary mm -hmm. island art. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, like, and wh what I've always grown up with is, is Guamanian artists will mm -hmm. tend to capture, like, a particular scene mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, like, a, uh, what people do with, like, a, you know, coconut husk and everything, mm -hmm. and they'll actually build, like, a coconut crab right. or maybe a bird or something like that, whereas like our brothers and sisters from Palau, they do those absolutely gorgeous storyboards. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you like, uh, like other artists from Fiji, um, right. they, they do like amazing work themselves. But, and you know, for, for some people it's, it's more about uh, expressing a legend or telling a story. Other people it's just about capturing a moment. Right. Would yeah. you agree? I agree. Um, but I believe that um, outside of the live art, um, the, in the actual like huts too, we have the, we're gonna have the weavers there too, mm -hmm. right? So right. it's actually gonna be beyond just the live art tent, but within our little kind of area will be different artists of different kind of uh, segments and times. Yeah, and to add on to that, we're also gonna be featuring some of like recycle art. So mm -hmm. the different ways that you can use something that's green and natural and put it together and make some sort of artwork and art piece that can be appreciated by the community because you know, we. We're, we're, we're growing green and we're, we're doing a lot of environmental practices now that are going to be more sustainable and keep Guam clean. So I think this is a, a good thing that we're going to go be, we're going to be launching into the future, you know, with, with green art and, and all the other yeah. art pieces. What are you doing, Miracle, for? I'm actually, well, I'm trying to, I'm talking to see if I'm able to do the body art. So I might actually have a wow. bottle there and I'm going to 
Because I'm, I'm there every, for all three days for the morning show. Maybe Jason can be Maybe a, Jason, yeah. you Jason can just, be a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at me. I mean, I, I weigh 150 dripping wet. There's that, not much canvas to use. There's still canvas there. What, what, little, what little there is, you are more than welcome. I mean, if you want to make a sleeve. You, you are a Guam celebrity. I mean, this is this hey, will be you big, know you know, to have Maybe you to, to have them. Miracle <laughs> put her miracles on you. The, 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 the vandals <laughs> and the graffiti artists are going to leave, you know, <laughs> <laughs> five minutes after we're done, I can, I can assure you. Uh, what, one of the good things about the fair in years past is it's mm -hmm. always a great place to exhibit, you know, art and food and dance and that right. thing. Uh, will there be some sort of like uh, almost like instructional sessions too, like to tell people this is how you can also do this at home? Well, the thing about the live art session is it's it's beyond just giving your product. You're you're able to witness it and see how we produce it. So they're free to ask us questions. They can nice. watch us from start to beginning. I mean, if you want to stay the whole time. Right. Of course, not every art piece can be done within our window time. It's inherently demonstrative. Yeah. So yeah. Right. Very so cool. then they can ask questions. I'm yeah, sorry. and then the GVV booth will also be available for, for people that want to know more about all the activities and, and, and booths. We're going to have a lot of vendors this year. We're going to have a lot of uh, cultural dancing and performances to keep everyone entertained. We have a lot of special guests coming in, not just from the islands, but you know, just around the region just to celebrate Micronesia and then look at uh, the preview f at, at FestPack, what we're going to be doing. So right. we're, we're, we're super excited, and we want to invite the community to come down and celebrate with us May 15th to the 17th. All right. And if you want to know more information, you can visit our, our GVB Facebook page or go to visitguam.com. All right. Thank, thank you both so much. Thank you Trust so much. Trust me, everybody, there are going to be so much information online. Remember that ridiculous thing that was going on with like the dress and what color is it, red and white? <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and these guys are going to completely surpass that with all the information coming up about the Guam Micronesia Island Fair. So stay tuned. And stay tuned with us because we'll be back right after this.